of uh, this event. We shall be getting back to Emmanuel Toy in yet a little bit later. By now, Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithure Kindiki has this morning apologized to the country over the Shakahola massacre that has so far left over 240 people dead. Kindiki appeared before senators to appraise lawmakers on the progress of investigations into Shakahola deaths in Kilifi County. Kindiki appeared before the ad hoc committee on the proliferation of religious organizations which is investigating the deaths according to kindiki mckenzie used armed gangs to kill some of his followers who took long to die or change their mind during fasting period let's listen in. it appears mr chairman that a crime of this nature should not have happened in a modern country like ours for many years I have already given you the chronology of Mackenzie's dangerous gospel, which is a contradiction because gospel is supposed to be uplifting and positive. From 2003, but Mr. Chairman, I have demonstrated to this committee and to the people of Kenya how we attempted to get Mr. Mackenzie charged in court, this administration and the past administration. And therefore, even as we introspect on this matter as a country, even as we ask each other hard questions, we would like our brothers and sisters in the judiciary also to look inwards so that as every one of us answers the question where were you the judiciary because they are also human beings they are also an organ of state they are also accountable to the people of kenya the judiciary should answer to the people of kenya where they were when these things were happening i have said it is not once, it is not twice, more than three times Mr. Mackenzie has been charged with offenses related to radicalization, incitement, you know, distorted preaching. And every time he's out on a cash bill, 10,000 shillings. I have demonstrated before you, Chair, and the committee, how in the last incident there was a spirited attempt by the prosecution to have custodial orders because by that time we had credible information that mr mackenzie's preaching was actually morphing into the commission of international crimes but again released on a cash bill of ten thousand majority of the people we have exhumed, died in a period of not more than 26 days before they were exhumed. So they were all exhumed after March. They were all uh, killed and buried after March. And therefore, Mr. Chairman, we are staring at a monumental problem. My appeal